So what we're going to talk about today is what to expect with Diva Vaginal Rejuvenation. Uh, it's a technique that we've brought to the center after a lot of research into the field. Traditionally in medicine, the way we would bring a new technique or a new therapy to clinic is we would compare it in a studies to uh, a randomized trial of patients, to something different, to, to something that had been the standard. Now it's a different world. We have the internet, we have crowdsourcing. There are thousands of people going online and giving their results. Over a large enough population, the bias is removed and patients and doctors can learn from this. And what we've learned is that the DIVA system is the most popular, is the most effective way. You could have uh, used radio frequency uh, via the Thermi products. You could have used a CO2 fractionated laser called Mona Lisa. Or you could use an erbium-based fractionated laser, which is what the Diva system is. It's not only a erbium, it's also a diode. And so this combination therapy seems to be remarkably effective at uh, treating vaginal tissue. So let's talk a minute about the uh, therapy itself. Um, it's a three to five minute uh, treatment done with a disposable applicator. It's very uh, clean, it's very safe, and it's, it's painless. Uh, we do spend a half an hour ahead of time numbing up the tissue with creams so that treatment, when we do do it, uh, you don't even really even feel this. It's a day or two afterwards of spotting. Shouldn't be particularly painful at all, and you should be able to go about your life within hours of uh, having this treatment done. There's the subjective aspect, and then there's the objective aspect. In other words, how does it feel? Is intercourse less painful? Uh, is uh, vagina more lubricated? Uh, are orgasms more possible? And then there's the more objective things like incontinence that the DIVA system addresses not as forcefully or as powerfully as surgery. Uh, and let's be clear about that. This is not a surgical correction for incontinence. This isn't going to handle prolapse. What we've been doing is we've been collecting our own data from patients that have the therapy to see whether or not it is effective for incontinence. And it does seem to be. It's definitely seeming to help with lubrication and sexual experience. The results are really enthusiastic. Up until we've had these more, uh, in, you know, quote, invasive vaginal therapies, we've been relying on hormonal therapies, mostly through uh, OBGYN or primary care physicians. Personally, not too impressed with the results, but this has been a more proactive way to go about things. Uh, the DIVA system, one of the things that we really like about it is the, uh, the mechanics of it. Like, how does it work? This is a fractionated treatment, and it spirals its way out of the vaginal canal introducing little areas for healing. There have been remarkably few problems with this. In fact, I couldn't find any. You know, you could say it not working is a risk, um, but that's not a harm that's being done per se. And, and so it seems like it's a remarkably safe therapy. And uh, that's one of the things we feel really good about. For additional information about this procedure and other procedures, come visit us at austin-weston.com. You can also set up a consultation, come meet with us in person, We're right here in Reston, Virginia. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe. If you want alerts when we post these videos, hit that little bell icon.